For the second game in a row in the Premier League, Manchester United have drawn two all this time against Arsenal at Old Trafford after the Southampton game away last week. And for me, I come away from that two all result, the same result, but with a completely different feeling. Yes, there was a real lack of quality in that final third, actually, in the whole pitch for the full 90 minutes. And we could have, and I'd argue probably should have won that game against Arsenal. Both teams had their chances. But Manchester United, from the first whistle, not for the full 90 minutes given, but they played with intensity and the, the sort of attitude that gets fans on side. And it's really not that difficult for Jose Mourinho. If he can get his team playing like that every week, fans will forgive drop points. Fans will forgive certain draws and certain losses if the team performs like that. Because from the first minute today, it looked like United wanted to try at least to win that football game. Apathy creates discontent. And you saw in that Southampton game, 2-0 down, nobody looked like they gave a fuck about the team, about the shirt that they're wearing. You can't say that about the team tonight against Arsenal. Yes, there was a distinct lack of quality. You know, Diogo Dalot making his debut at right back, uh, full, full Premier League debut at right back, horribly exposed positionally. Good going forward, but down the left, Kolasinac was in six, seven, eight times. If he was a better player... Arsenal would have scored more, or certainly would have had more goal-scoring opportunities from that side. Marcus Rojo for Lacazette's goal. Madness of a mistake. Thought overall, he actually played quite well, though. David De Gea making a mistake for Arsenal's first goal. When the hell does David De Gea ever make mistakes like that? The two goals that United conceded for how poor I think our defence is and was, was David De Gea spooning the ball out of his hands, and Marcus Rojo... Effectively scoring an own goal off Lacazette's ankle. You know, United could have easily won that game tonight with better quality in that final third. But the real message I want to get across from that match is if United had played like that in every single game under Jose Mourinho, I genuinely think that his job right now wouldn't be in question. Because... They showed desire. They showed commitment. You saw Eric Bai g up the crowd after he made a tackle to go back on Aubameyang. And the Old Trafford crowd responded. And the Old Trafford crowd responded tonight because they saw a team that really looked like it wanted to win the game of football. And I suppose it's, it's a sign of the times for Manchester United of where we are that we're excited by things like that. But we've got to try and see progress and steps forward. And tonight, I saw a step forward. Obviously from Southampton. Anything was a step forward from Southampton. But up against an inform Arsenal, United played better than anybody thought they would have done tonight in certain areas and were worse in others. I'm not really sure how Nemanja Matic got man of the match, I'll be honest, on Sky Sports. Sorry, BT Sport. But he wasn't as bad as he has been in previous games. Now, there's certainly going to be questions asked about Jose Mourinho's substitutions in that match. You saw Manor and Fellaini came on, Paul Pogba came on, Jesse Lingard went off and Marcus Rojo went off. Now, I always understand bringing Manor and Fellaini on for the last 20 minutes of a game when it's a draw or if United are losing. Because that's what Fellaini does. He comes and he changes the game. But two players who certainly didn't change the game tonight were Paul Pogba and Romelu Lukaku. I think between them, they must have had five, six, seven touches. We weren't getting the ball to them. We weren't letting Pogba. That was a perfect opportunity for Paul Pogba to dominate and take the game himself because he was dropped from the team. That was a statement in itself from Jose Mourinho, certainly because he kept Nemanja Matic in the team, which made no sense whatsoever. I covered that in a video earlier this week when I'm saying if you're going to criticise Pogba and drop him, you can't not do the same for Nemanja Matic, but Mourinho did that tonight because he's a general. Mourinho loves Matic. Understandable in that respect. But Pogba didn't really get into that game at all. And you're looking at the sub, you're thinking maybe why Matic could have came on for Maro and Fellaini instead. That's certainly going to be a chain of thought. But would he have changed the game? I think maybe. Maybe he would have, but we're speaking hypothetically now. The ultimate thing from United tonight, as I've said, there's two main points I want to take away from that game. Actually, three. First of all, in that first half, United, United's lack of a midfield option in front of the defence meant that David De Gea had to keep kicking the ball long. We couldn't play football out from the back because Matic and Herrera weren't dropping deep enough to take possession. That's the job that Paul Pogba would have done had he been on the pitch. And that hurt United going forward. We would have created a lot more opportunities had that not been the case. 
But luckily, with the front three of Rashford, Martial and Lingard, there was enough movement up front that we did still make opportunities. And a quick word here about Jesse Lingard and the goal that he scored. Not an incredible goal, but I think only Jesse Lingard and Marcus Rashford could have scored that goal in our team because nobody else would have had the desire to be there at that moment in time. And for me, that's why I've always supported Jesse Lingard because his movement and his commitment to the full 90 minutes is far and above pretty much every other player in that Manchester United squad. He plays for the shirt that he's wearing and you can't say that about many players at this, in this squad right now. So that's one point I want to make. Second point, obviously, our defence is a complete abomination. Who do we play tonight? We played Rojo, we played Bai, we played Delot, we played Damian, we played Smalling. First time those five ever played together. And you saw that there were players there that didn't have a lot of minutes under their belt. Rojo, Bai, well, I thought Bai played pretty well overall. I think arguably you might call him out of the match, which is not really saying much about the team overall. You're giving Bai, given that we conceded two goals. But the players that came in, I thought, didn't play too bad. And I'm just coming away from this two-all draw against Arsenal, for me, with a completely and utterly different feeling than the two-all against Southampton. Yes, it's more points dropped. Yes, Jose Mourinho probably is still going to be sacked as Manchester United manager at some point in the future. But what, for me, we've seen tonight is what we can do moving forward whether that's still under Mourinho going towards the end of the season or under whoever comes in, just fucking play like that tonight and the fans will support you. Win, lose or draw, the United fans will support a performance like that. It's not rocket science. Put the commitment in to try and win the football game and the fans will support everything that you do. If you fail, you fail for the right reasons, not for the wrong reasons like we did against Southampton. So for me tonight might be two points dropped but it's a marked improvement on a lot of performances that we've seen this season from United, which where games have just passed us by. We tried tonight. And luckily, you know, when, whenever United play Arsenal at Old Trafford, Arsenal always seem to dip in their form. And they certainly did that tonight. They were good for the point. I think United were good for the point. Overall, it's a fair result. But let me know what you're thinking about the game in the comments below. As always, if you're new to United People's TV, make sure you drop a like on the video and make sure you subscribe if you're watching it on YouTube. Until next time, take it easy.